This geometry problem is going viral in social media. The problem is asking for how many triangles are there in the given shape. And one of every 1000 failed this. So today I will explain to you the most common method which is counting. And also learn the formula that works for even complex figures. I will also show you how to derive the formula and apply that formula to solve for more complex figure. So how many triangles you think are there in this shape? In finding the total number of triangles in this shape, let's consider first three different triangles. The first one is the small triangle, then the medium triangle, and the large triangle. If the large triangle doesn't have a line inside it, that means there's only one triangle. If there's one slant side inside a triangle, how many triangles can we form? Here's our second triangle. A third triangle. So now we have three triangles. The one triangle if there's no line inside, and the two triangles if there's one line inside. Zero lines inside, we have one triangle. One line inside, we have two triangles. What about if there's two lines inside? How many triangles can we form? Here's our fourth triangle. Here's our fifth triangle. And here's our sixth triangle. So if there's two lines inside, we have three triangles. Again, we have first triangle, second triangle, third triangle, fourth triangle, fifth triangle, and sixth triangle. So there's a total of six distinct triangles if there's two lines inside the triangle. The same thing applies for the medium triangle. Just like with the large triangle, the medium triangle will also have six distinct triangles. Just like with the large and medium triangle, this small triangle will also have six distinct triangles. So therefore, there are 18 distinct triangles in this shape. Let's take a look at the 18 distinct triangles. Counting is a common method to address this problem, but it is not the most efficient way of solving these problems. Now let's use the formula to find the number of triangles. If there are n slanted lines inside a triangle, the total number of triangles is equal to the quantity n plus 1 times the quantity n plus 2 all over 2. In a moment, I will explain to you how to derive that formula. For this problem, n is equal to 2 since there are two slanted lines inside the triangle. Now let's substitute 2 to the n. So we have 2 plus 1 times 2 plus 2 all over 2. So this is the same thing as 3 times 4 divided by 2, which is 6 triangles. So there are 6 triangles in the large triangle, 6 in the medium, and 6 in the small. So there are 18 distinct triangles using the formula. If you know the formula, it's really simple to solve the problem. So now let's look at the patterns and derive the formula from the pattern. Previously, we said that if there are zero slanted lines inside the triangle, there is one triangle total. If n is equal to 1, the number of triangles is 1 plus 2, which is 3. If n is 2, the number of triangles are 1 plus 2 plus 3, which is 6 triangles. Can you guess how many triangles if n is 3? If n is 3, we have 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4, and that's going to be 10. If there are n slanted lines, we have 1 plus 2 plus and so on up to plus n plus n plus 1. And finding the sum of this, the simplest form is the quantity n plus 1 times the quantity n plus 2 all over 2. Now let's derive the formula quantity n plus 1 times n plus 2 all over 2. So let n be the number of slanted lines inside the triangle. To find the total number of triangles, we need to add the numbers 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus and so on and so forth up to n plus 1. The formula for arithmetic sum is s of n is equal to n over 2 times a sub 1 plus a sub n. So for this sequence, from 1 to n plus 1, this means that there are n plus 1 numbers all in all. So we have n plus 1 all over 2. Our a sub 1 or the first term is 1, and our last term is n plus 1. 
So this is same thing as n plus 1 over 2 times n plus 2, which is the same thing as n plus 1 times n plus 2 all over 2, which is the formula that we will be using. Now let's do a more complex figure. How many triangles are there? Instead of counting, we will use the formula the quantity n plus 1 times the quantity n plus 2 all over 2. In this case, n is equal to 3 since there are 3 slanted lines inside the triangle. Now let's substitute n is 3. 3 plus 1 times 3 plus 2 all over 2. So we have 4 times 5 over 2, which is equal to 10 triangles. So all in all, there are 40 distinct triangles total. 10 for the smallest, 10 for the second, 10 for the third, and 10 for the biggest triangle. So therefore, there are 40 distinct triangles total.